Mr. Strong by Roger Hargraves This is the story of Mr. Strong. Mr. Strong is the strongest person in the whole wide world, the strongest person there ever has been, and probably the strongest person there ever will be. He is so strong, he can not only bend an iron bar with his bare hands, he can tie knots in it. Mr. Strong is so strong, he can throw a cannonball as far as you or I can throw a tennis ball. Mr. Strong is so strong, he can hammer nails into a wall just by tapping them with his finger. Strong by name and strong by nature. And would you like to know the secret of Mr. Strong's strength? Eggs. The more eggs Mr. Strong eats, the stronger he becomes. Stronger and stronger and stronger. Anyway, this story is about a funny thing that happened to Mr. Strong one day. That morning he was having breakfast, and for breakfast he was having eggs, followed by eggs, and to finish he was having... guess what? That's right, eggs. That was Mr. Strong's normal breakfast. After his eggy breakfast, Mr. Strong cleaned his teeth, and as usual... He squeezed all the toothpaste out of the tube. And as usual, he cleaned his teeth so hard he broke his toothbrush. Mr. Strong gets through a lot of toothpaste and toothbrushes. After that, he decided to take a walk. He put on his hat and opened the front door of his house. Crash! What a beautiful day, he thought to himself. And stepping outside his house, he shut his front door. Bang! The door fell off its hinges. Mr. Strong gets through a lot of front doors. Then Mr. Strong went for his walk. He walked through the woods. But he wasn't looking where he was going and walked slap-bang into a huge tree. Crack! The huge tree trunk snapped and the tree thundered to the ground. Whoops! said Mr. Strong. He walked into town. And again, not looking where he was going, he walked slap-bang straight into a bus. Now, as you know, if you or I were to walk into a bus, we'd get run over, wouldn't we? Not Mr. Strong. The bus stopped as if it had run into a brick wall. Whoops, said Mr. Strong. Eventually, Mr. Strong walked through the town and out into the country, to a farm. The farmer met him in the road, looking very worried. "'What's the matter?' asked Mr. Strong. Oh, "'It's my cornfield,' replied the farmer. "'It's on fire, and I can't put it out.' Mr. Strong looked over the hedge, and sure enough, the cornfield was blazing fiercely. "'Water!' said Mr. Strong. "'We must get water to put out the fire.' "'But I don't have enough water to put a whole field out.' cried the worried farmer, and the nearest water is down at the river, and I don't have a pump. Then we'll have to find something to carry the water, replied Mr. Strong. Is that your barn? he asked the farmer, pointing to a barn in another field. Yes, I was going to put my corn in it, said the farmer, but can I use it? asked Mr. Strong. Yes, but, replied the perplexed farmer. Mr. Strong walked over to the barn, and then do you know what he did? 
He picked it up. He actually picked up the barn. The farmer couldn't believe his eyes. Then Mr. Strong carried the barn above his head down to the river. Then he turned the barn upside down. Then he lowered it into the river so that it filled up with water. Then, and this shows how strong Mr. Strong is, he picked it up and carried it back to the blazing cornfield. Mr. Strong emptied the upside down barn full of water over the flames. Sizzle, sizzle, splatter, splatter. One minute the flames were leaping into the air, the next minute they'd gone. However, can I thank you? the farmer asked Mr. Strong. Oh, it was nothing, remarked Mr. Strong modestly. But I must find some way to reward you, said the farmer. Well, said Mr. Strong, you're a farmer, so you must keep chickens. Yes, lots, said the farmer. And chickens lay eggs, went on Mr. Strong. And I rather like eggs. Then you shall have as many eggs as you can carry, said the farmer, and took Mr. Strong over to the farmyard. Mr. Strong said goodbye to the farmer and thanked him for the eggs, and the farmer thanked him for helping. Then Mr. Strong, just using one finger, picked up the eggs and went home. Mr. Strong put the eggs carefully down on his kitchen table and went to close the kitchen door. Crash! The door fell off its hinges. Whoops! said Mr. Strong and sat down. Crunch! The chair fell to bits. Whoops! said Mr. Strong and started cooking his lunch. And for lunch he was starting with eggs, followed by an egg or two, and then eggs, and then for his pudding he was having... Well, can you guess? If you can, there's no need for me to tell you that he was having ice cream. Ha, ha, ha!